Hi everybody, it's Joey and I'm here to show you some really cute cards that you can start making right now if you're ready to get started with your Christmas cards. This is definitely a Christmas card set. It's called So Very Merry and it goes with our two and three eighths inch circle punch. So no die cutting with this, just cut, stamp, cut and punch and you're good to go with lots of really cute Christmas cards, especially if you like to color. Alrighty, so let me <clears throat> just get going. You have to get a few technical things taken care of. Sorry, I have to get so close to the camera. I'm getting, I've got an iPad stand right in front of me and to reach it, I have to get close to the camera to just see if I'm, I am coming up live. Okay, good. Whoops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, got to push the right buttons here in order to have everything come up the way it's supposed to. Then one more place. I've got my laptop here as well, and I'm just going to get myself pulled up on my laptop. I wasn't quite sure about the, uh, the video orientation today. One of my really good friends did hers, I think, just yesterday, and... The um, camera kept switching from landscape to vertical and she was sideways and she was having a terrible thing with it. Hi Diane, thank you, I'm glad to be back. Hi Donna and Kay, thank you for sharing. Uh, yes, I'm back from Las Vegas, Stampin' Up! had a leadership event there. Um, thanks to my wonderful customers and my team, I qualified to go. And I just had a really wonderful time. Hi, Kelly. Um, I'll tell you more about it as we get stamping, but let me, hi, Maggie. Oh, good, all my friends. Well, thanks, Kelly. Kelly says I look great. Well, <laughs> thank you, Kelly. I haven't had very much sleep or rest for about a week. It's been kind of crazy. But a lot, doing a lot of fun things. Um, oh, you mean maybe you mean the camera orientation, Kelly? Maybe not me personally. Uh, either way, thank you. Um, hi, Pam. I um, I will say a few words about my trip to Las Vegas. So it's a leadership event, and so it's unlike most Stampin' Up events where you do you see lots of products, lots of samples, lots of cards, lots of displays. Um, and you see stamping demonstrations and that kind of thing. That's all about the hobby itself. This is about taking care of your people, taking care of your customers, taking care of your team, um, taking care of yourself, all of those things. And it's just really inspirational people. A lot of them are demonstrators who've maybe gone through a hard time or they've learned some things along the way to be helpful to others that might be feeling their time and energy pulled a lot of different directions. Um, and just really, I, I know last year I came on and shared, oh, thanks Maggie. Maggie said I look pretty in red. I like red, so I am I like to wear red when I feel like I need a little boost because, as I said, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep or rest. But anyway, the, the, the trip was, about all that, and I know last year I came back on, I was so, my heart was so full last year, right after leadership that I came on and uh, talked with you about it, and that time I got really emotional about it, but um, I have felt emotional about it, but today I don't think we're gonna have tears, we're just gonna share some fun stamping stuff and have some fun together. Alrighty, I'm going to, let's get going here, enough about the chit chatting. So let me grab my toolbar here on my camera. Let me, I gotta click a tool, here we go, here it is. And then one more, and then I'll go upside down and then you'll be right. But as I was starting to say, I don't know if I ever finished it, my really good friend texted me yesterday and said, Joey, have you done your Facebook Live since you've gotten back? Because I tried to do mine and it was a hot mess. The camera screen wouldn't go the right way. I think I started to tell you that I'm not sure I actually finished it. Let me switch my camera just a bit and get everything back in order here so you're seeing a better view of all this. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, hi Jean. Hi Sam. Oh good, so nice to see everybody here today. All right, friends, we're gonna play with this set. Now you might say, well, I haven't even seen that set, so where did you find that? 
This is not in any, any of the catalogs. It's an online exclusive. And I've had questions about what does online exclusive really mean? Does it mean that I have to order it online? No, it doesn't mean that. What it means is it's not in any printed, uh, it's not in any printed publication. It only can be seen online, but you can always send me your order for it. If it's something you want, I can put your order in for you. Uh, you don't have to go online and look, but it is the only place you'll see them. There is a bubble for it in the online store. So if you go to Stampin' Up! with Joey, no, socks, crash that, that's not right. Stamping with Joey dot stampin up dot net not dot com but dot net um or if you just go on stampin up dot com and put in this host code it will automatically uh be on my page anyway oh thanks for oh you're frozen are you kelly i'm not frozen on either my laptop or my let's see if i'm frozen here well checking nope i'm i'm good thanks for sharing diane um, Kelly, it might be on your end. Sometimes you just have to go out of your Facebook page or even shut down your browser and then come back. But this is one of the online exclusives. This sold out right away, like the first week that they put it online. So I didn't show it or do anything with it, but now it's been in and it's been staying in. It hasn't gone unavailable again. So I thought this is a perfect week to show it because I'm gonna pair it with some of the new um, holiday mini, okay, Joey taught mini catalog designer series paper. Hi, Christy. Oh, so good to see you, Christy. I'm so happy you're here today, as well as all of you. All right, kids, let's get stamping with this. I really like the artwork on this. Now, if you're not a colorer, um, there are other ways to do this. I'm going to do some pretty simple coloring. This, these are like stained glass images. They kind of simulate stained glass, but you don't have to do it like that. If you don't like the color, you can still get a lot of use out of this set. So we're going to go ahead and start with, um, let me get all my part, my bits out here. We're gonna do some fairly simple card templates today. So if you're a beginning stamper or you're an experienced stamper that likes fairly straightforward and easy cards, then these will be good ideas for you, I think. Let me see if I've got all my lights on here. Yeah, I do. Just wanna make sure I get good light over my workspace. Okay, um, this is just Poppy Parade cardstock and it is cut five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it down the long side at four and a quarter. And then I have used, I think you can see it in the screen actually pretty well. This is the musical notes embossing folder. And I will just say one thing for those of you that are musicians out there, um, Along this side, there are clef marks. Can you see those? There's treble, bass, treble, bass, etc. Otherwise, if you're not looking at those, it's kind of hard to tell which way the notes go up or down. And this is actually on the very edge of the embossing folder. So I'm a musician. I've been a musician all my life. In my real job, I taught choir, uh, secondary in secondary school, high school. Um, so it has bothered me. I always make sure the clef sign, you know, that's just me. I've always made sure the clef sign is showing. Oh, Diane says she's in trouble with the mini catalog. Yeah, I hear you, friend. I get that. She says her budget's in trouble. She's not in trouble. But yeah, you know, I try to start out thinking, okay, what can, what things can I just use? right away and what things can wait because we have through through december through the end of december but you know then i think well maybe you know i i just keep buying more what can i say i try to not but sometimes i think well i probably should have bought that <laughs> okay we are going to do a little stamping and then we're going to do a little bit of coloring most of the coloring for these cards today I have done for for you, for us, because I don't think you really need to sit and see me color. But I do want to show you a few tips about coloring with this particular stamp set. Um, hi, Jenny. Jenny McCormick is my friend. She just jumped on in case you're not watching comments. Jenny McCormick 
is a very dear friend on my on, that I met on my very first incentive trip what was Stampin' Up, which was Alaska. And Stampin' Up seats you at dinner with a table. You have a table assignment. And Jenny was right next to me. And every through the nights on the cruise, every night I got to know her a little bit better. She had her son with her on that cruise, and my husband Steve was with us too. Um, and we've continued to stay in touch, sometimes better than others, but um, she's a true friend. I feel like she's a person that I can reach out to if I have questions with how her business is doing or just to even see how she's doing. So I got to see her in person. She wasn't at leadership in New Orleans last year, so I didn't get to see her then. Um, but I was so thrilled to see her. And honestly, that is one of the best things you do, I've gained so many things from being able to attend these events. This is a little bird. But, you know, I gained so much from the things that Stampin' Up! has for us. And they do, they do lavish us with gifts and wonderful things. Um, so that's all wonderful too. But seeing friends that I don't get to see. I have other friends that are international friends too from Australia and from... Um, the UK that I also got to see there. I'm trying to remember, I think that's a leaf and this is the branch. The stained glass artwork, I had to kind of be a little bit careful about what little triangle goes with what, whether it's the branch or the leaf or the bird's feather. So I'm coloring with crumb cake. But anyway, I got to see Jenny there and give her a big hug and we got a picture together. And that was so fun. And it was nonstop, it was nonstop. It was kind of crazy. It was, which, you know, if you're going to a conference then you're paying for it. Although Stampin' Up, if you're a Silver Elite or above, Stampin' Up gives you, and you had to be Silver Elite to go to this. It's a, it's a rank in Stampin' Up, it just, is based on your uh, your sales and your team, but um, they they will give you one free event a year. So I took this one as my free one. But you know, so but it doesn't come close to paying for everything that they paid for us. So uh, our lunches were covered every day. We did get our own meals at night. Trying to look at my little. This is going to be a cardinal because. Oh, you know what? That was supposed to be Poppy Parade. Oh, well, we're just going to go with it. Although, this is light Poppy Parade, and it really looks bad next to This is Cherry Cobbler, I think. I don't know. What did I stamp it with? Red red or Cherry Cobbler? I'm not sure. Um, ah, Jenny saying, glad you worked out which bits are which. Well, Jenny, that's, you know, I had to redo a couple of things. Because at first I had, you'll see the angel coming up in one of my cards. And for the angel's dress in the sky, I kind of got mixed up. And actually for the Santa, there's a Santa too that we're going to color. Um, I kind of got his bag mixed up with his coat. But once I, you know, sometimes if you just stop a minute and stand back and look at something, you can see... You can see what it's really supposed to be. So this is just, did I start? I think I, I'm, I'm scattered today, kids, I'm sorry. I'll try to finish my sentences. Um, Steve loves cardinals. So we're gonna have a cardinal here for this little bird. And I didn't get out anything for his beak, a color for his beak. So maybe we'll just make it, is this dark crumb cake? Maybe we'll just make it light crumb cake. So. It just doesn't, well here, I know what I can use. I can use dark petal pink. So I'll use that. It's a little more orange and I think that'll work okay. It's not very noticeable, but it might look noticeable um, just plain white. Oh, Jenny, you have Robins for Christmas. Hi, Kathy. Um, I love Robins too. When I came to the UK the first time, 
I'm like, uh, hey, kids, I don't know where my DSP is for this. And I know I cut it. So we might have to go back and cut some designer series paper. Oh, that would be too bad. You'd have to take a look at some of the new paper, which I was going to show you anyway. But okay, we got to go cut a piece of paper. So this is the new Mary Bold and Bright designer series paper. And this is the paper we're using for this card. It has fall la laws on it. And I picked that because we have a little birdie here so i thought maybe the bird would be singing but this goes with a stamp set that has a lot of bright christmas light bulbs on it i don't have my six by six <coughs> hey i think this is already three by three let's take that out i don't have my six by six samples of everything so i can just pull those out but ready yet yeah, but i'll show you these so see how cute the christmas lights are and here's the bulbs and then the little twinkle lights and um, green and white dots and pink and red stripes and then lots of bright polka dots bright stripes by the way you guys i do have a few here stars and more dots pink and yellow dots i do have a few places left in my paper share so i'm doing a paper share of all the designer series paper that is in the mini catalog here's some more blue and green stripes and then some green two greens of two colors of green christmas trees and if you're interested in getting in on that you know just message me um let me look at the cost on that oh here i have it written on i have it written on my chart here somewhere um okay so new holiday catalog product shares if you want <clears throat> the designer series paper you get six by six piece of every new paper so you have every single new paper and that's $35 if you need shipping it's $8.50 or $9 I don't remember what I put on the registration if you want all the ribbon you get a fourth of a bolt of each of the ribbons um, and that's $24 if you want both if you want everything it's $59 and I do have a few places left as I said so just message me if you're interested in that and you can get some of everything and by the way the way i package mine is so every package you get has um the name of the paper let me this is a three by three square i'm pretty sure three by three so sorry let me think about my words so you get um every designer series paper is cut in six by six unless you want to double share and then those that are cut six by twelve those that come in twelve by twelve will be cut six by twelve and let me show you a sample here i think i've got one from from the annual catalog that i can show you i meant to have my other one out here but anyway they come like this but then they have a label on them that says the name of the paper the number order number and then all the colors that come in the, they're in that paper and same with the ribbon and they're all individually packaged so you don't have to wonder well what paper is this i have no idea um okay we've got this then we need to do a little bit of a little bit more coloring and then we're ready to go let's grab the little belt and then our memento black um christy says did you have too much las vegas um oh, that's kind of hard to answer christy um not Las Vegas in and of itself. I mean, there was, you know, of course there was gambling in the casino. We pl we stayed at a place called Red Rock Casino and Spa, and it's actually about 30 minutes from the airport, which means it's about 30 minutes from downtown. Um, I don't gamble, you know, I don't, we didn't really have time to do very, very many things like that. If that's what you were there for, you probably didn't have time to do that if you were with our group. Let me go ahead and get this little bell colored while I'm jibber jabbering. Okay, um, so 
we did get to the one Las Vegas -y thing we did was Stampin' Up surprised us the last day at the very last session with tickets to the Cirque du Soleil, the Beatles show. And we had no clue, or at least I didn't, that that was coming. And so everybody was super excited and it was an absolutely incredible show. So much fun, it's amazing. You know, I don't know how people do things like that with their bodies, but it was really, really good. But as far as gambling, no, I didn't do it. And my room was very, very quiet. Um, I had tried to get in next to my friend Corinne. We were we we had adjoining rooms last year at in New Orleans for the same event, and we tried to do that again. But she, I checked in the day before she did. I went in a night early, and we didn't get to have rooms to, next to each other. And so I, my room was very quiet and I really lucked out because I got to be on the same floor as the convention center. So I was on fifth floor and, oops, that's not good. I want this. Um, I didn't have to wait for elevators, which was a huge, huge blessing. It saved me a lot of time. Um, so I enjoyed it. I'm not a real Las Vegas type of person, I don't think. Have any of you gone to Las Vegas? Do you enjoy it? Obviously, a lot of people do enjoy it there because it was packed. And our Uber driver said it's like that all the time. Oh, somebody, I'm sorry, I'm out of the picture here. Our Uber driver said it's like that all the time. He said people come in like Wednesday or Thursday, stay till Sunday. Uh, go out either Sunday night and then the beginning of the week another group comes in but uh, and we as I said we were really busy with stamping up activities from morning until 5 or 5 30 and then you know one night was the well the opening night they had a big reception for everybody so we had that in the evening out by the pool and we had a card swap there and then on the oh when we left they gave it they took us by buses down to the mirage hotel to the show so that was fun oh corinne's on here i was telling you about my friend that had trouble with her video yesterday that's she's on she's watching right now and and yeah she's the one that i always we tried to get adjoining rooms, but it didn't work out this time, but we still had a great time. And I saw lots of demonstrators, we both saw lots of demonstrator friends and... Okay, so let's get this one. Now, if you don't want to do a lot of coloring for Christmas, but you like, this is a really easy card. You're just gonna, you know, cut a three by three. And if you cut your 12 by 12 sheet into three by three, you're going to get 16 pieces this one one piece of 12 by 12 will make 16 pieces 16 cards if you cut your dsp three by three now i'm not gonna center this because i want to make a little room for my bells so let me get these guys over here oh one thing i have to do first hold on i gotta grab a ribbon i forgot to grab it i won't be far but I'm not sure where it is. It's a black and white checked ribbon, as you can see here. But I don't really want to open a new one, and I don't know what happened to my other one. So hang on. Let me. I'm going to pull the ribbon out of another project. <laughs> happen to have another project sitting here with the black and white ribbon so let's just take this one so for this one this bow i'm gonna go like just gonna make a separate bow here i keep getting out of the picture i'm not sure why sorry 
Now I just moved the phone, so that's not going to work very well. Let me get under the camera right away here so you can see it. So just make a loop, wrap around like this, bring it back through with your index finger like this, and keep it flat. The key is this one's staying flat and this one's staying flat, which that didn't do. It just made a turn. Okay, so if you keep both of them flat, you'll have a nice, pretty bow that doesn't twist. So this bow, I'm actually going to put this one, I'm going to make it a little wider maybe than normal. That's too wide. And I'm going to put this one under. Usually I put my bows. The other two bows I'm making for you today, we'll, we'll put those underneath. But this one, this is going to go under the bow like this. By the way, I can't take credit for the basic design of this card. I was influenced by this card from one of my fellow demonstrators, a young lady who's just fabulous. Her name is Melissa Faust. So the basic idea for this card I got from her. Actually, for, for a couple of these cards, um, I thought they were really cute, and so I kind of just am doing what she's doing. So then we're going to go ahead and just stick our bell down here. And as you can see, I didn't do very much coloring on the bell. So this is probably one of your, let's see, I don't want this to go. This is probably uh, one of the quicker cards of the ones I'm going to show you today. So there's our little cardinal. Let's make sure. Um, I always put, I don't know if you do this, you probably do. Oh, Chrissy, you went to Las Vegas on stage. That would be fun, too. And hi, Brenda. And Diane, you went to Vegas once for a significant birthday. Oh, George Strait. I bet that was fabulous. And Diane went to a George Strait concert. So there's... Oh, we forgot our gems. Can't leave out the bling. Diane, you should have been saying, Hey, Joey, I don't see the bling yet. Diane is my bling sister. I think a lot of you are my bling sisters, though, right? We're kind of all the bling girls. If you watch me, you probably like bling because I use bling. All right, so these, this bling, what is this bling? This is the, what do I want to call this? Ah, festive pearls. These are in the annual catalog. There's gold, there's silver, and this is kind of almost a pool party blue. I don't know what color. I think it's actually supposed to be a green, but it's not really green. And then red. So, or some shade of red. I'm not sure. So there's our two cards. Now, I didn't show you that I punched out this white circle ahead of time, but I just used the, sorry, there's going to be a glare, the two and three eighths inch circle, and I did that first. Now, what I'm going to show you is... Um, sorry, I got distracted with my comments. Now I'm going to show you, um, some cards where we are going to, if I find them, good heavens. Okay. Um, um, this is amongst yourselves. <laughs> All right. Those of you that are demonstrators and have seen the new mini catalog, what suite are you most excited about? Oh, for Pete's sakes, I can't find my cards, girls. Oh, here they are. They're hidden by the camera. Um, if, you ha if you're not a demonstrator and you'd like to have a mini catalog, and some of you are customers and you, you have your mini catalog already too, so you've seen it as well. So if you've seen the mini catalog, let me know what you're most excited about. Um, let's get all these bits out here and then we can make this card. Our second card in the group. And let's go with, okay, I do have some few, some other new products to show you today too. So this embossing folder is new as well. And where did I put it? So, 
It's called the Snowflake 3D, Snowflake Sky 3D Embossing Folder. And I did use that on our next card. It's really pretty. Can you see it? You can kind of see it a little bit. And then I used another new embossing folder on our next card. So we do need to actually get out the die cutting machine for this one. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Get all these things straightened out here. We're going to die cut a cute little edge on something. I'll come back to these. I'll bring those back at the end. Now our die cutting machine. And this piece of paper, it should be two by four. Let's, oh, two and a fourth by four. So, and I'll show you why in a moment. So, There's this set of dies. I should have showed this to you earlier. They're called basic borders dies, and they are all kinds of shapes just for the edge of your paper. So there's this kind of rickracky one, this scalloped one, uh, like one that looks like clouds, and then a really rickracky one. And then there's this curve. We're going to use the curved one for now. I'm taking this piece of, so this piece of white is all, this is four, in, I mean, this piece of DSP is four inches, and then the piece of white is also four inches long. And then I'm just going to put, let's see how I want this. I want, let me have to go this way. I'm going to have a little bit wider at the bottom than I do the top, kind of like so. And then I will put on my top plate and we'll do a little die cutting like this. This also not only curves, but it has a stitched edge on it. Actually, all these dies have a stitched edge. So that makes them a very finished edge like so. And we're going to use that in our, is this four inches? It looks longer. No, it is four inches. Okay. I cut that right. Let's go ahead and now we'll grab our designer series paper and I'm going to have this go like this. So I'm going to line it up with the edge of this paper. And I didn't show you that paper yet, did I? So I'll get that out and show it to you in just a moment. This is a really special paper because this paper, every time you buy a pack of this paper, it Stampin' Up! donates, I think it's as much as $3 to a charity. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to just put that on a little piece of cherry cobbler that's just slightly bigger. So the cherry cobbler is 3 and one eighth. When your, paper's, um, when your paper is a little jaggedy, that didn't cut really clean with your paper trimmer, you can just use like an emery board to kind of, to take off those little frayed edges. The cherry cobbler piece is three, about three and one eighth plus a sixteenth by four and one eighth plus a sixteenth. So if you put in an order using this host code for $35 or more, you'll get all the card parts and the PDF tutorial for these cards. So, I mean, you can always come back and watch the video, but um, if you'd rather have a written tutorial, it has all the measurements and everything in it. Hi, Kathy. Oh, I'm Kathy. I'm so glad you made it. Hi, Char. The double stamp set, Christmas. The double. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, Christy. I know exactly what you're talking about. I have that one. I think it was on my first order. Christy said she likes the double stamp set and the Winter Meadow. And I also got the Winter Meadow right away, too. So I hear you. We're kind of on the same path with that. But as I said, I've gone back and ordered other things. So I'll show you the paper I was talking about in just a minute because one of the sets I ordered you, uh, coordinates with this next paper. Let me grab it quick so you can see it. So this paper is called a Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. And the other set I'm talking about, let me, I can't show you in the catalog, but I can tell you what the name of it is because it coordinates 
with these trees that are in this paper that I'm going to show you. So these trees, there are dies that coordinate with those trees. And that set is called, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Not there yet. <laughs> uh, it's called the Merriest Trees Bundle. And I'll tell you a secret about it that I just figured out the other day. So, see how these trees are like this? So, the, the new dies that are in that the Merriest Trees Bundle, so there's a die that cuts this out, there's a die that cuts this out, there's a die that cuts this out, and then there's a die that cuts the whole tree out. And then, of course, there are some that cut these out. And there's also a punch. My next Christmas stamp -a stack, we're going to use the bear, not, not this paper. It's a different paper, but there's two papers that coordinate with the bear punch, the little polar bear punch. But anyway, again, this is where I got this paper that we're using on the card today. And here's more little bears and trees. And this is the paper that Stampin' Up! is going to donate. Um, if you purchase this paper, they're going to donate $3 to a charity. I'll tell you more about the charity. This is pretty peacock in the background because I can't remember what the charity is right at this moment. But I think that's a really nice thing to do, especially at the holidays. Here's more greenery with pine cones and white berries and red berries. It's on the back of that. Oh, in the back of that, it looks like balmy blue and snowflakes. Um, let's see. Oh, here's some more. Oh, I think I showed you that one already. Did I show you that one? Yeah, that's the one with the stripes that we're using today. And then here's blue trees. These are, I don't think these go with the dyes. It doesn't look like they go with the dyes. Let's see what's on the back here. And then blue, snow, white snowflakes on a blue background on the back of that one. And then one more with pretty peacock and old olive, it looks like, and garden green trees. And on the back, um, more stripes and blues green. So if you aren't into even making Christmas cards, this is perfect for winter cards. Or even this could be any time of year. So it's still a good, a good thing to have on hand at home because you can make them either Christmas or winter. And... Part of your money for your purchase goes to charity. So that's really, really nice. All right, so here's our card so far. Let's go ahead and stamp a greeting. We're going to grab, go back to the... Let me grab my greeting. Where is that? Um, Tis the season to be jolly. We're going to go back to our cherry color ink. And then... Hi, Carol. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to stamp. Tis the season to be jolly, because this is the card we're going to use our Santa on. And this is just a little piece of scrap paper just cut the same size as my greeting. So that, you know, we don't have to die cut it. If you didn't want to do any die cutting or you don't have a die cutting machine you can just leave this piece off the rest of this there's no other die cutting on this it's just stamped and punched so this is the little santa stamp in the stamp set and i've already stamped him in memento black and colored him just because again i don't think you really need to sit here and watch me color so i'm gonna go ahead and put this guy under here and I'm just kind of looking for an even, can you see what I'm doing? I'm looking for an even bo white border around my stamped image. And then let's go ahead and get my Santa on here. Um, I did not put dimensionals on this. You know, dimensionals raise up your panel and give it a little bit more, well, dimension for lack of a better description. <clears throat> but I didn't do it for this one because it takes a little bit longer and I'm trying to give you some card ideas that if you like to make a lot of Christmas cards you can't spend 20 minutes per card you need to well unless you start now you probably could spend 20 minutes per card and 
just enjoy making as many as you want to by Christmas. If you like to be in a hurry and get your interested in quantity, not that you're not interested in quality, but if you want, if you got, if you send, I have people that send a couple of hundred cards. I don't send that many. You know, I send between 50 and maybe 80 to my customers and friends and family. Okay, we're going to stick this guy under here. Just going to take this greeting and put this here. And per usual, on a Facebook Live, I can't find my Stampin' Dimensionals. I've got some somewhere hiding. Oh, here they are. Okay. Looks like I'm running out, though. And I'm just going to put... This is wanting to kind of move around. I'm going to put them actually off. Let's see if that's going to be covered. Yeah, that's good. Putting them off my circle shape because I don't want, there are dimensionals here, and I don't want double dimensionals on my card. You know, we don't need that extra postage. This is a little bit too far up. Let's go here. If you move your adhesives before you've really let them sit for a while, they'll usually peel off pretty good. So there we've got those guys. So I'm interested to know how many of you have started your Christmas cards. Do we have some early birds out there? I don't, I mean, I make cards from now, Christmas cards from now through December for my Facebook lives and for my classes. I'm doing Christmas stamp stacks again. Those are already started. Um, so I always, I have all those ready when Christmas comes and then I usually still have to make some to get everybody on my list taken care of. This is a silver and gold twine. That's not called silver and gold twine. It's called simply elegant trim. It's in the annual catalog. Or if you shop online, you can find it online. You just have to put in Simply Elegant Trim. And there's our Santa card. And then let's grab our gems back. And we're just going to put on some silver balls here. And let's see. We'll, we'll fill up this space up here a little bit. The silver ones. And... You know, twine goes a long way, and these gems go a long way. So, honestly, you could make you could make these cards that I'm showing you today with a punch and just your cardstock and some gems and some twine. You could make quite a few. Oh, well, you'd have to have some designer series paper if you make them like I made them, but otherwise you could make quite a few for not very much money. And they're not bulky. You can send them. You can stick your Christmas letter in them and you'll be good to go. Um, let's see. We need a white panel, though, on the inside of that so it's ready to go. I'm not decorating the insides of my cards today. To be honest, I'm just lucky to be here today. Oh, gosh. Um, I got back Sunday evening steve picked me up from the airport in omaha i live in lincoln nebraska omaha is about 45 minutes away it's a larger city and the airport's bigger so more flights go out of there than here here's the four we've got made so far and um you know i was busy i didn't sleep all that much while i was on um in las vegas and then you know traveling always has its ups and downs um, so to say I was really tired on Monday and would have liked to have rested the whole day, but it wasn't going to happen. I have a class this week that's in person tomorrow, and then those are taking it to go. Those had to be all ready so they can be shipped either this weekend or Monday. Oh, get in the video, Joey. Jeez, girls, you need to just tell me. Get in the video. 
Pam, you've been thinking about it. You like the summer one? Corinne, well, again, you know Melissa. These are pretty much all inspired by her. Um, I changed them up a little, but not a whole lot. So, just so you know, though, I have to tell you a couple more things, everybody. Um, if you haven't done, if you haven't put in an order in July or August, so we did this in August too. So you get a ladybug when you put in an order of thirty-five dollars or more. You also get, you know, all the supplies for the cards of the week. So you get two. You'll get to make. You'll get supplies for two each of the cards I'm making today. So six cards. Um, and your name goes in a drawing for some prizes at the end of the month. So we still have a few more days for that. And the prize this month is the Little Dreamer stamp set and then a pack of the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper. So that's the prize this month if you're interested in that. Then also, I, I have a little slim window of earning the incentive trip this year to Mexico. Um, and I've got some tickets in a jar. I just started this last week, a few days ago. So I, some people are earning tickets in the jar. The way you get a ticket for the prize jar, the prizes are gift certificates. So I have three prizes for the end of September. One is a $25 gift certificate, one is 50 and one is 75. So um, you'll get a prize in that price. So you get to double up from now through um, the end of this month, which is just next. Oh, it's just coming up, isn't it? So through August 31st, you get to double up on a ladybug prize and then a prize in the trip jar or ticket in the trip jar. And then I'll just share with you uh, the incentive trip this year is to Mexico. I'm to here and I have to get to here. I might have some team uh promotions that would help me down here but i still every one of these is a 500 dollar. well it's 500 points so it's either dollars or it's team advancement and if i get this far i'll get um that's a sales bonus i'd really like to make so i'd love to earn your business as a stampin up demonstrator if you don't have one uh and i try to really give nice things to my customers when they um I try to give good customer service when they order from me. You do have to use this host code to get any of the prizes, though, so just make sure you do that. Then, oh, before I go on, I want to just remind you of just a couple more things. You need to use your bonus points that you earned last month. This is the last month only. You redeem them this month, so that's going to end on August 31st, so make sure you redeem your bonus points. And... Also, the kit sale that's on now, all the kits are 30% off. The, these kits are complete. You don't need anything added to them to make the projects that are in them. Go to um, the kits collection online. So stampingwithjoey.stampinup.net and then just look up kits collection and you'll see all the ones that are on sale. Here's the product shares. We already talked about that. Okay, let's move on to our last card. Let me pull up the parts for that one. Now we're going to do the angel that I was telling you about earlier. So let me just get these. Sorry, I've got my arms in the camera because I'm standing up now. So you're seeing a lot of, a lot of arm movement in there. Sorry about that. This paper. Um... So, Christy, this might, if you're still on, this might be the paper that goes with those two sets you were talking about. Are you talking about the one, Christy, with the nativity? Is that the one you were, you're thinking of? So, this paper is called Oh Holy Night. So, I'll just give you an overview of this one. So, this, if this has a lot of sheets that have stars in them, and... You know, I'd like to show you the set itself, but there's plenty of time for that. We'll, we'll show those next week because I can show them to you in person next week. So let's just get out this paper. So this, I've seen shadow boxes made with this one um, because, can you even see that in the picture? So here, I'll turn it sideways so you can kind of see it. Um, people are putting this in a 12 by 12 shadow box and then there's one set of dies that is a nativity they are dies that have they not only die cut but they do embossing on the cardstock so 
There's that one, and then the back is pretty neutral. You know, Stampin' Up! always does that. They make their designer series paper very versatile. Here's one with mountains and the sky. I'm trying to turn it sideways so you can see it. And the back of that one is also a neutral, too. Let me get these out for you so you can see them. This is one. I love this one. So look at this gorgeous sky with, like, little water droplets in it. And then this side has some um, kind of a, you know, a water wash look with also stars in it. Next week, I hope I'll have my 6x6 six six samples done so I don't have to try and get these large ones in the picture. This is like an ombre from dark blue through light blue and the back too. So a lot of night scenes for this one or if you just have people that enjoy blue, you'll have, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And then the one we're using today, is that one? Oh no, here's another one. So here's another dark blue sky. One. This one has the city of Bethlehem at the bottom. Can you see that one? So that would make a gorgeous scrapbook page. On the back of that is another solid design almost, not completely solid. And the last one is the one we're using today, which I think I already showed you. Yeah, so this one is the one we're using today. So I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. I don't have all the designer paper out. I have purchased all the designer series papers so I can get started on my paper shares for you and those of you that have ordered them. But um, this today we're showing projects and what you can make with this stamp set that's available now. You don't have to wait to be able to use it. So we're gonna, this is the same size DSP as this one. We're just gonna put a little twist on it. So this is three by four, this is three by four. And then we're just going to mount this one on a piece of Knight of Navy. Yeah, the paper is just so pretty. Oh, yeah, Chrissy, I know which one you're talking about. I think it's in that same suite. So Chrissy said, not the nativity. This one was classic and on Noel. Yeah. That's the stamp set. One of those stamp set goes with the nativity dies. And I originally ordered it without the dies too. I ordered the word set, the words, the Christmas greetings. Um, but I think we are talking about the same thing. Okay, let's, I do want to show you how to emboss in case you're a brand new stamper and you're like, well, I don't know how you got those designs on your cardstock. How did you do that? So let me show you. I'm going to use this embossing folder. This is part of that suite that Christy's talking about. And I do think it's called Oh Holy Night. This embossing folder is called Stars at Night. Let me grab the die cutting machine and then we'll grab, for this you need the base plate, then let me grab the embossing folder. And then I'm doing the same design on all my cards where I'm just doing a white background. So I'm gonna get this guy. Oops, we want our stars to go up. These stars have directions, so you wanna make sure you're putting them, you're putting your cardstock in the direction that you want your stars to go. We're turning that with the folded side to go in first. And then we're going to put the, this is the what you use for the embossing folders. So just the basic platform. Well, this is for the 3D embossing folders. All the ones I've showed you today are the 3D. So let me get this out of the way. And then voila, we have our star design. Isn't that pretty? So pretty, it's such a wow in person. So I, I wanted to show it to you because I know looking at a catalog, especially embossing folders, it's just really hard to tell if you think you like them or not. So let's keep going. This is a piece of basic white thick that is five and a half inches by 
eight and a half like normal. And then I scored again up four and a quarter down the middle. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just doing white on white this time. I thought this was really pretty with a white card. And if you've watched me very much, you know I really like white. This this corner is kind of bunged up, so I'm going to put that in the back and then put my, redo this a little bit. And actually, I think I want to do this because of where my angel is going to go. So we're going to put this down and then we're going to, we've already got our designer series paper for this and I'm going to just go ahead and put this flat. Now, if I wasn't doing a lot of Christmas cards like this, I might pop it up with dimensionals, but I'm going to put it flat with my tape runner. And I'm kind of going, you know, at a little bit of an angle on this one just to mix it up just a little bit. Then let me show you a couple things about this greeting. So this greeting... I think it's meant to go in a circle. I'm not completely sure. It doesn't stamp, it doesn't actually stamp really rounded like the Very Mary did on our first card. So I'm gonna show you what I did for this one. Cause I didn't really know exactly what to do. Whoops, I missed the top of the D on that one. So let's try that again. Am I in the film? Yeah, okay. So. I haven't played with this very much since it wasn't available for a while. I kind of put it away and didn't get it out and do a lot with it because I didn't know when it was going to come back in. But it stayed in now for quite a few weeks. So I think there, it's not showing no inventory. So I think you can get it now. Well, I know you can get it now. And then what I did is I just went in and I cut these words. Here, I'll try and get in that camera. Cut these words apart. Now you could technically, since photopolymer stretches, you could technically stretch out your snap straight. But I thought I might look around and see a little bit more what people are, I kind of want this straight so I don't want it really angled. Um, I haven't really looked around too much to see what else people are doing with this. I'm just going to cut this guy off straight as well. Like this. I see since I cut him, I didn't really mean to cut him at an angle. So this might not be exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> but you know, it's crafting so we don't care. It can be different. It doesn't have to be like my original. Cause I kind of cut in at an angle on those, but you could stretch out your stamp straight or straighter at least. But I really didn't want to stretch mine yet. I, as I said, I haven't played with it very much. So there might be, let me cut this straight first. There might be other ways to use it rounded like that. I'm sure there are, what am I saying? There are other, there's always other ways to do things. So, uh, so for this card, I just went ahead and cut it apart like so. Whoops, oh, almost threw that away. So then we're going to, now our angel, I did most of the coloring, but I'm gonna go ahead and color her a little more. Now this might surprise you. This color is wild wheat. How many of you thought you weren't gonna like wild wheat? My hand is up in case you can't see it. <laughs> well, you can see my hands, but virtually my hand is up. I didn't think I was going to like it. And I certainly wasn't thinking it as gold around a stained glass window. Let me, I'll try and speed this up a little bit. I'm just going to draw a line on one side and another on the other side. Um, this is wild wheat, as I said, and it looks actually when it dries, it looks pretty gold. So it kind of does look like golden wheat. And I live in Nebraska, so we got a lot of corn and wheat in Nebraska. When I first saw it though, I thought this does not look like wheat. 
Wheat does not have this green tint, and this has a little bit of a green tint, depending on what you put it with. So that's that's a big part of this, depending on what you put it with. Christy, you got your hand up. You didn't think you'd like wild wheat either. Um, yep, I'm with you, except that now I've decided I do like it for some things. So let's see if we can get this in the punch. No, too close to the, not close enough to the edge. So then we'll get it down here. I was kind of just playing around with these so they're all on scrap paper. And again, this is a two and three eight cents punch, which was also sold out for a long, long time. It's been in and out of stock, but as far as I saw right now, at last I looked, which is in the last few days, it's still in stock. Okay, so we're gonna put our pretty little angel off to the right like this. And hi, Chris, welcome. Nice to see you today. Let's see, I'm gonna put this, these dimensionals rather up and down. I'm gonna put them to the side. And the reason is, is because I think they'll sit on, this is gonna, this, this layer here with the navy blue and the DSP is gonna be a little bit thicker and my dimensional is gonna go off here so I don't have a bit, lot of bulk where I don't really want it. Let's go down maybe halfway down and we'll get this on like here. Then let's just take our Peace and Joy, which I'm just thinking the angel is saying that. And let me grab, I think I'll cut a skinny piece of dimensional for this one on the back. Or we could take mini dimensionals. If you have mini dimensionals, you could do that too. But you'll start to see as this wild wheat lightens up, dries and lightens up, that it honestly looks really pretty with the navy. And then this is petal pink, her dress is petal pink. Almost out of mini dimensionals too. So there we go. And then I'll do that. And then I just need one or two more, just one actually. So then we'll just go off to the side. She's holding her hand out, so I kind of thought that was a cool way to do peace and joy like that. Then we'll take a little bit of gold and we'll make another bow like so. So now if you want to get in on this host code to get uh, all these cards for f the supplies for all these cards for free, you will need your own stamps and ink. Um, but all the die cutting the, and the, the embossing, I will do for you, but you will have to have the stamp set or you'll need to just, um, just be able to substitute with somebody you already have. If you've been crafting for a long time, you probably have something you could use with these card layouts because they're pretty easy card layouts to add, to use whatever you want with them. You know, so I'll send you the circle punches. I'll punch those. But you'll need your stamps and ink to either do this or to put something else on it. So now we just need some gems, some bling on this. Let's get out the, the gold gems. So I'm using gold here. I'm going to kind of go up here. Um, anyway, you need to use this host code between tonight and Sunday night. You have till Sunday uh, to get your orders in to get this stamp set to get a ladybug drawing in the ladybug drawing for the stamp set free stamp set and designer series paper uh, and you'll also get if your order is fifty dollars or more you'll get the gems i used the pdf tutorial all the card supplies and you also get a ticket in the prize drawing for the make it to mexico ticket prize drawing so you get a lot of stuff for your order especially this week so there's our three cards. Which one is your favorite? Do you like the angel, the Santa, or the cardinal? We'll just call it a cardinal for the sake of for the sake of making it easy to vote. And everybody needs this punch. 
It really layers so well with the two inch punch and the two and a quarter inch punch. So it's time to get that if you don't have it yet. This hose code and you'll get all these cards. Very, okay, thank you. Uh, like all the, the Faith is the Angel, very nice. I like all of them. I think the Angel one is your favorite. The Angel's getting a lot of, a lot of love. So I like the Angel one too. And as you can see, what I tried to point out earlier is I only used three colors here. Well, that's not completely true. So let me tell you how I did this guy. I tried to make it kind of match paper. So I used three colors of blue. I used light, misty moonlight. Yeah, no, that's light, night of navy. But this is light, misty moonlight, light, night of navy, and then night of navy dark. And I did the sky. I started with the lightest one and then I did the medium color and then around closer to the angel I did the dark color. I don't know if that shows up very much in the screen. But I wanted to try to mimic this paper a little bit so that's how I did that. Um, other than that I just used the wild wheat marker. You could use daffodil delight if you have that one. Um, and I used petal pink which you could use make the angels dress any color you wanted to so you don't have to do what I used. Um, Okay, friends, let me know if you'd like to, if you're watching on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to hear your comments as well. If you're watching replay, thank you for watching replay. If you're watching replay on Facebook, I hope you have liked my page so you don't miss anything coming up. And let me see, Kay, you like them all. Kathy likes the angel. Well, the angel is yeah, this DSP is gorgeous. It's just so, so pretty. Um, I can't wait to do more with it. This is my first play with all the new paper. Well, not all the new paper, but at least three of the new papers. <laughs> so I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, if you need to get a hold of me for anything, you can find me at createwithjoey.com. I've been using my blog. I'll post all these pictures there. And I'll also post this up on YouTube. So uh, thanks so much for supporting me, being my friends. I hope I gave you some crafting inspiration. Hi, Kay. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm so glad you were here and joined me. And I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope I um, have helped brighten your day a little bit. Take care, my friends. See you next week. Bye-bye.